Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 384 of the RP Man LP Exhibition, and who knew Red Bull gives you wings? No, I'm not kidding. The reason I got up here so high? The energy drinks. I couldn't get up here at the time, and honest to God, I wanted to go there and beat Merv in order for her to get Wes. So that way he could do this without having to rely on energy drink, because he and Alexis both have a natural double jump. But, if you want to get him beforehand, because things are going to be a little bit dicey the moment you get Wes in your party, um, you could just simply use uh, an energy drink like I just did, which will give you 15 seconds worth of double jump, and it will increase your willpower and heal you for about 15 stamina. So yeah, that's basically how the... Uh, double jump function will work in this game. Except, here's the thing. Alexis has one by default, and so does Wes and Chris. So, yeah. At least there's that. And I think, uh... Ryan can learn it, like, at level 18. So, why even bother buying a energy drink? Oh wait, that's for everyone else if you want to try to stick with one person for the entirety of the game. Although the game may not recommend it, still you might want to use uh, the energy drinks to jump across these cliffs. And that's going to get us to the last dojo, which is, by the way, being ran by Miss Kim. For those who don't know who Miss Kim is, that is Mizuzu's translated name in the original uh, River City Ransom, or should I say, Renegade. Oh, and my mouse keeps showing up. So, she, in Wrestling Gear, will give you some of the more powerful weapons in the game, and you're probably gonna need about $70 just to buy them all. That is for everyone. And look, Shovel Knight's in the back, and the furries are beating themselves half to death. So I managed to get some new moves, and Dragonfish Blow just so happens to be one of them. And I'm gonna need to beat up some people in order for me to get- Uh-oh, I think I just triggered the cops. Yeah, we need to beat up some people in order for me to get 17 just to get the last uh, move of the game, which is Viper Air. Well, that's, that's not the last move of the game. That's the last move until I reach level 40. Then I gotta go back game 90 and get the last move of the game. Which, by the way, is, uh, I think an air throw. Yeah, that, that's exactly what it is, an air throw. Well, good news is, we don't have much longer once we get past this part. Because, uh, afterwards, it's just going to be, uh, pretty much a straightforward shot. And that straightforward shot will lead straight to the abandoned River City Ransom, the River City High School, sorry. Almost said River City Ransom High, but you might as well just say, because, uh, yeah, remember, Slick held, uh, Cindy hostage there. Let's hide from the popo. And with that said, I do believe we have enough to go and... Hold on, not yet. Now we... Ouch. Ah, let's punch this one too and see if I can get some more. Yes! Now we have enough to get all of our moves from the dojo. So, with that said, let's talk to Mizuzu. Or should I say Kim? And there we go! We got an achievement for getting all the moves. Oh, and by the way, if I reach level 40, that's an achievement too. And yeah, this is our stats for now. But by the time we are ready to deal with, uh, Murville, we're gonna be a lot stronger. Although, it may not be enough. I may have to, dry, to grind a little bit more. Preferably for four, level 40 for the last area of the game. But that's Viper Air that we just got. We not only got that, we also got some mix-ups too. So now, while Paul can't kick, 
Paul can throw lefts and rights like the best of them. And as you can see, you can mix up, start off with the right, go with the left, and just do some serious damage. So yeah, that's somewhat of a demonstration. Also here, you can actually buy some records from Stubash Records. By the way, those are the best recovery items. I don't think they're all... Okay, let me rephrase that. Not everything's the best recovery item. But rather, those actually will recover the most. Other than the, uh... Chicken Sandwich. Which, by the way, recovers 40. So, yeah. The records and the Chicken Sandwich and also the comic books are like the best thing in the game to actually put into your inventory so that you could actually heal. And, uh... Needless to say, hopefully I gain some more money late, late in the game to get some more of those records, because I'm going to need them, and I'm going to have to devour them. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's high time that I take my leave from this place, and I will be back in just a moment when we go to Merville. Alright, and we are here in Merville. And Merville, you're able to get there from two ways. One from Little Tokyo. The other way is to get through from the subway, which I did. Didn't matter how you get there, just make sure you're not in the middle of Cashington Avenue or else you'll be run over by the triathlon. No, I am not serious. That triathlon will kick your ass and will drain your health exponentially. So let's just avoid those guys and go into the parking lot where you're going to have to face off against all of these guys and uh, <clears throat> pretty much go through and uh, get onto the elevator. So that means you're going to have to beat everybody here in order for you to proceed. And yes, folks, it's the elevator beat-em-up sequence. If this doesn't surprise you that it's going to be in a beat-em-up game, then I don't know what is. I mean, let me just be honest with you. There's always going to be an elevator beat-em-up sequence in, an ele in a beat-em-up. They're always going to be. They have one in Scott Pilgrim. They have one in, uh, I do believe, uh, Double Dragon. At least two of them, anyway. Like, one in three, one in one. I am not too sure about Double Dragon 2, because Double Dragon 2 is his own beast. That fucking mansion, that's all that needs to be said. <clears throat> Also, there's going to be one in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, especially Shredder's Revenge. Although, I recommend you guys play that game. That game is fucking awesome! By all means, play Shredder's Revenge, if you haven't already. But nonetheless, there is going to be an elevator beat-em-up section. Never changes. Even Mega Man Zero 2 or 3, no, it was Zero 3 that had a beat-em-up section. And I do believe it was, uh, Carabras Triester or something like that. Yeah, that was his stage that had the elevator beat-em-up section. Which, by the way, you have to kill the enemies before the elevator collapse with you on it. So, with that said... My mouse is in the way. I had to pause it for a second there, because my mouse, for some reason kept getting in the way <clears throat> and we're gonna have to go through this section as we rise up the first thing we're gonna do is run into these rich boys or rich kids but yeah these guys are definitely gonna start throwing out all the shots and start causing some damage because these guys are going to start getting stronger because we're near the end of the game. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a that is a waste of time. I'm not doing that. I may end up accidentally jumping off the cliff if I do. But as I was saying, <clears throat> this is pretty much like the end of Act 2 and we're soon going to be in Endgame which is basically going to be uh, the remainder of Act 3 and by the way, that, if I can help it, will be probably one or two parts. So we basically have only two episodes left of this game. That says a lot. 
because we've pretty much gone through everything. I mean, constantly getting my ass kicked by the nerds, almost getting my ass kicked in the street in the, uh, in the beginning, and yeah, I probably may die this time, but I'll come back stronger and actually win. But uh, even at level 40, it's gonna get tougher. Much tougher. <clears throat> so on that note, we are just going to enjoy the elevator ride. And more police is going to be coming out here. Oh, and don't expect any uh, money from the police. The police is going to drop nothing. You just drop them off to make things quicker. Or just simply drop them with your fists. Oh god, I got the stun gun. Don't taste me, bro. But, or stun baton, actually. And they also come out with tear gas as well. That's a precursor of those police officers in River City Girls. Those guys right there. Now that I stop and think about it, there's a lot of things from this game that River City Girls actually, like, return into their game. Not just one, but two as well. This particular stage actually do make a comeback in two. There's a reason for that. And that's as far as I go. But right now, see these army guys? Knock them off. Just knock them off because they're going to be a pain in the butt later on. Especially in certain areas. Yeah. It's, you can take the money if you want to, but knock those soldier guys off. They're going to be tough. But there's one guy you might want to be careful of. DQ. DQ is possibly the strongest one. Because for some reason, he actually does um, Alex's Flash Chop from Street Fighter 3. And that actually has a lot of range and can catch you. So there is that. So I'm just going to probably mow down the... Oh, ouch, I just got punched dead in the face. It'll come to a point where these rich kids won't be doing too much to me. Or at least the originals. So, with that said... Ouch, that hurt. I'm gonna take this money, and I'm gonna go on my merry way. Oh god, I ran into the door! Alright. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Stop, stop trying to attack them. Stop trying to get big dick points. It's not worth it. Save that for later, because you're going to need all the level ups you can get. Consume the tea, but just keep on going. <clears throat> and now, here's where the part is going to be really snug, and more importantly, really dreadful. Hide behind this cubicle. Trust me, you're going to need to do so, because of that. Yes, you are going to be attacked by a Harrier jet while here in Merv. And in case this doesn't bring any, you know, like, Vietnam flashbacks, anybody here play Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories? Yeah, that's pretty much what happened during there, except it wasn't a helicopter that was shooting at them, but an airplane. Well, except for, yeah, that's what this is, the airplane shooting at them, not the helicopter. But whatever the case... <clears throat> Vice City Story. Oh, God! What did I do? Why did I do that? What the hell is wrong with me? My greed has cost me everything! Uh, I wish I could level up right about now. I really wish I could level up. My greed has cost me everything. Ugh. It's just one of those times when greed is not good. And even then, they'll dock my uh, money in half when I die. So why did I even do that? I was better off behind the cubicle. I think this guy has a key, so... That's the other thing about this section. And there's three of them, by the way. 
you gotta be careful of who you knock out. Because one of them has a key. Give me the key. I'm just gonna wait. Or run. Run like a bitch. <clears throat> now, there's more places to take cover. Like, for instance, this area with the uh, sofas here. It would be in your best interest to uh, take cover here. Because you don't want to be shot at. <clears throat> also, the plane's uh, targeting mechanism will target whether you jump or not. Ouch! Somehow he phased through that and German suplexed me. Okay, okay, I'm gonna let that happen. I'll just take that. But I gotta be careful because I do not want to attract the uh, jet's attention and actually get clipped. Because that plane will shoot through the boxes. <clears throat> and also will not discern between friend or enemy. So that's the one thing you gotta remember, that it will not discern friend or enemy, so you can lure your enemies into getting shot up by this airplane. Yes, there's a card, and yes, there's a level up. Run, run, you fool! And now for part three. I'm gonna hide right behind here and kill off these guys, so that way I will be able to make the jump. Because here's the thing. The helicopter, not the helicopter, the airplane will start sweeping now. And when it does, <clears throat> anybody that gets caught will be taking some, oh God, no, no! Bastards! I was about to say, anybody who gets caught, they're gonna take damage from that sweeping helicopter shot. Well, we're almost done here. And by the way, that's DQ. That's the guy with the flash chop that does a lot of damage. And all these damn soldiers does that stupid knee of justice. Ouch! Oh no! Yep, there it is! That's the flash chop I was talking about! <clears throat> I just need to hold off DQ until finally <clears throat> I can get out of this area and just jump across. You don't need an energy, uh. Oh shit! Shit! No! Actually, you know what? I, I, I just don't care. I'm just gonna stay right here for the time being until it's safe. And I'm just scratching my arm because my arm itches so badly. I don't know why, but it's been itching badly. Alright. I'm gonna run get that loot. Or get kneed in the face. You cost me some coins, you asshole! Give me that key. No, run, bitch! Run! Ah! Oh my god! Get off! Get off me, man! Get off me! Well, well at least that saved me. Uh, running jump! Oh no! And yeah, I'm dead. Wait, I got records. I can save my. Oh, well, I can heal. I, I I need to heal. I need to heal badly. Run, you fool! <clears throat> Don't sit there and face face these guys. Just run. <clears throat> Why are you doing this? Run, run, you fool! Ah, uh, damn it! This may be the end of me. Okay, maybe not. <clears throat> okay, maybe it is. Run, damn it! Run! Just just ignore those guys, because you're about to go to a boss battle. I know you're trying to gain up some level, but just ignore those guys. They're going to kill you. <clears throat> oh man. 
up to way too much damage. Wes is probably gonna kick my ass. And by the way, folks, if I die, that means I'm gonna start everything that I just did all over again. Oh, and by the way, a little misconception of part one. We thought that it was—I thought that it was his daughter that was kidnapped. No, unfortunately, Murph sent the entirety of his private military, every gang in River City, and the police to come after you because. <clears throat> Merv's dog was kidnapped. No, I, I am not kidding. Merv did all of this to get his dog back, and he thought the flock was the one that did it. But in reality, it wasn't. Though, yes, Chris was sighted on the train. She was tailing Slick, who actually did the kidnapping. But after... We beat Slick up in the old River City Ransom, oh, old River City High School. Why did I just say River City Ransom? In the old River City High School, somehow Chris got out on her own. I would like to see that, but uh, that would mean we have to play as Chris. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but uh. Yeah, we probably would need more context as to what happened to Chris. And by the way, her busting herself out is another thing carried over in River City Ransom 2. I mean, River City Girls 2. Oh. And Merv's like, um, okay, that, that, that did, that did not just happen. Okay, you want to talk about things? I mean, yeah, my bodyguard's about to kill off one of your goons, but, uh, yeah, um, Accidents have happened. So, yes, it's time for our match with Wes. Who looks dangerously like Wesley Snipes that I just fell off the cliff, didn't I? Yeah, the... By the way, if you fall off near the, uh, rudder, the propellers of the plane, the rudders of the plane, or whatnot, yeah, you are going to be taking some serious damage. You can, however, knock Wes off the plane to make him take damage. However, Wes will counter you any chance you get, and the clouds were obscuring my vision, so I really wasn't able to stop him in time. There is no time limit, by the way. It's just the fact that I couldn't see a damn thing because the clouds was obscuring my vision, and Wes is kicking my ass. And oh, he, he got me good. Well, this is the last of my willpower. Come on, dude, get up! You can do- oh, never mind. That was the last of my willpower, and I am done! You know what that means. Back to the beginning! Alright, let's try this again, only this time we got more health, we got more healing items. We're actually at a higher level. We probably could beat him this time around. So let's do this! Alright. I can't punch him. Uh... Wes misunderstood a lot of things. But here's the thing about Wes. One, you do not want to fall off the plane. Two, Wes has that spin move. Oh god, I just fell off the plane like a dumbass. I was about to say, Wes has that spin move that will knock you in the air and probably knock you off of the plane. Two, he has a charging kick as well. And more importantly, he double jumps. So bear that in mind when you're facing off against Wes. Although, Wes getting knocked off and getting beaten up because I'm more powerful than him now just made things a lot easier. So with that said, we have succeeded in clearing Act 2. And in Act 2, we now have not only Wes as a playable character, but Chris as well. And needless to say, um... How shall I put this? Wes's playstyle is pretty good. Whereas Chris literally is the Incredible Hulk from Marvel vs. Street Fighter. No, I'm not kidding. That is her moveset. She literally pulls up the concrete and also tries to crash you with a goddamn meteorite. So yeah, 
most of Chris's moves, if not all of them, is a reference to the Incredible Hulk. So now, this is like the newest update, and by the way, the guy who was in the plane, he ejected. So the plane basically is blocking the way of Merv Tower, and you can never go back up there again. So there's Chris. And now, there is also Wes. So that is all the unlockable characters. Let me also point out again, Alexis, Wes, and Chris do not have books. At all. Oh, and by the way, uh, oh wait, actually you can go back to Merv, to Merv Enterprises again. Although, do you really want to after everything you've been through? I don't know if that's a hideout or not, but uh, if it is, that would have been a hell of a lot better. So that way I could at least, uh, you know, try to save before going there. Uh, well, whatever the case. Those purple guys? That is pretty much the whole gist of the remainder of the game. You are going to run into clone versions of all the enemies you have defeated. And by the way, that would include a Bobo. So, if you run into a clone of Bobo, and you've beaten all the other versions of a Bobo, which you should have if you ran into Slick. You, you will run into him when you're going after Slick, by the way. <clears throat> that means you will get the achievement for beating an Abobo of every color. So there's like a clone Abobo, black Abobo, tan Abobo, the original Abobo. Those are the only Bobos you... I just said Abobo so many times I almost had a tongue twister. Those are the only Abobos you have to worry about. Now, the clones, I'm gonna tell you. They are not going to give you any sort of money. At all. As you just saw, you're going to have to get money from the military and you're going to have to get money somewhere else. However, the clones are just like regular uh, enemies. They can take hazards. They're not invincible. Well, if you leave them alive for too long and they're down to their last health, they'll split up and make more. And, oh yeah, you're not going to be able to take the subway anymore. Because it's littered with trash and clones have taken over the entirety of River City. So you're going to be going a long way to every place you need to go. Oh yeah, and uh, Udon Wands will never open up. Uh, if only I knew what to do to get that shop open. Ouch! Just run, you fool! Run! Oh, right, I almost forgot. <clears throat> We've got the agents now. And these agents? I've got to warn you, take them out as soon as you can. For two reasons. One, the agents will give out the best payout in the game. And two, if you don't take them out in time, they'll start flashing red. Meaning, that if you allow them to flash red long enough, they will self-destruct. Yeah. If they self-destruct, that is not good. Oh, and by the way, all the clones will tend to pull. The clone, uh, military, no, secret service guys will just melt away. You know, like the men in black quick clones. Let's get the hell up out of here. Wrong way, genius. Well, at least I'll be able to access the spa, I suppose. But probably all the shops are open by now, so let's get out of here. Or I could just go on ahead and buy some... Uh, I'll buy some games to eat. That's gonna come in handy, at least. And more importantly, I need to max out my stacks because we're going to be going into the start of the last act of the game. Which 
which means we're gonna have to go back to uh, Bridgeton. But before we do, we're gonna have to either go to the Auto Repair Shop or we're gonna have to go back to Rolling Wood. Rolling Wood is closer, so it's gonna be back to the repair shop. Yeah, I'm getting away from the Secret Service guy. Yeah, I don't need to. I don't need to be by him. He is too mean. Ouch! <clears throat> Eventually, if I run into any more Secret Service guys, I'm going to beat them up off screen and gain up enough money. So that's basically all we're going to be doing for the remainder of the game is beating up clones for experience points and beating up, uh. and beating up Secret Service guys for money. Meanwhile, speaking of clones, this is how you acquire William! By instead of going to the auto repair shop after you defeat Merv, you come over here. And by the way, by William, I mean William as a playable character in the two player mode. So, uh, Cindy realized that William was a clone, and, uh, yeah. She still brought him home. Bear in mind, she cheated on uh, Ryan with Alex. And the clone exploded. And she just didn't care! <laughs> oh god, she just did not care. So... Needless to say... <clears throat> Needless to say, the clone basically is dead. And, well, she's still available, Alex. Go after her, because uh, she and Ryan broke up. Yeah, and I I'm not lying when I said she was with Alex, because Alexis is Alex's kid. Anyway, we're done here and in the next episode of the Arvid Man LP Exhibitions, which is River City Ransom Underground, we're going to start Act 3. This is Arvid Man 985. Peace out, and watch out for them clones.